Hey guys, welcome back to Melanie's Yoga Couch. I'm Melanie, and today we're going to start in standing. So come to standing at the front of your mat, bring your hands together in front of the chest, and then splay out your fingers, keeping the pinky and the thumb together in Lotus Mudra. Draw Lotus Mudra up to your third eye. Take a breath. And then bring your hands down to the center of the chest. The Lotus Mudra is going to help us to ground and open up the heart. Inhale, reach the arms up. And exhale, forward fold in Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale your way up to standing. And come directly right back down into your forward fold. Inhale, half lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, draw the stomach towards the thighs. Inhale, come up to standing. Exhale, forward fold one last time. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, reach the crown of the head forward. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, draw the arms up in a reverse swan dive. Hands together and exhale the hands in front of the chest. We're gonna move into some side bending. So bring the right hand to the right thigh, left arm reaches straight up and then over to the right. Come back to the middle, switch sides. Left hand comes to the left thigh, right arm reaches up and over towards the left. Inhale back to the middle and exhale the hands to the center of the chest. Hands come to the lower back, fingers facing down, reach your elbows together, reach your shoulder blades together. Inhale into a back bend, just a mini back bend. And then interlace the fingers behind the back, bend the knees and fold forward letting the hands fall over the head. Release the hands to the mat. Grab opposite elbows, we'll just move into some ragdoll. Maybe you shake the head yes and no. Maybe you swing a bit from side to side. Then inhale, lift into Ardha Uttanasana and step your right foot back, finding a lunge. Here you might move the hips a bit side to side finding some space. Then press your hands into the mat, step back into downward facing dog. Inhale forward into plank and exhale knees, chest and chin come to the mat. Inhale find baby cobra. Exhale press yourself back over the knees into downward facing dog. Just a couple of breaths here. Finding length in the spine reaching the heels towards the mat. Your next inhale draws your right leg up. Exhale, step the right foot through. Inhale your right arm up, left hand stays on the mat in a twist. And exhale your right hand back down. Step the left foot forward and find a half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come up to standing. Exhale the hands in front of your chest. We'll move through the same sequence on the other side. Inhale, draw the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, find length in the spine. And then step the left foot back. Stay here for a moment, just finding some space in the hips. And then plant your hands, step the right foot back in downward facing dog. Inhale, forward into plank. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, baby cobra, shoulders back. Exhale, moving over the knees into downward facing dog. Lengthen the spine, reach the sit bones towards the ceiling. And then inhale, draw your left leg up and exhale, step the left foot through. Right hand stays on the mat, the left arm lifts for a twist. Bring your left hand down, step the back foot forward and find half lift. Exhale, forward fold and inhale, come up to standing. Exhale the hands to the center of the chest. And then inhale, draw the arms up overhead and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, step your right foot back. Left foot comes back in downward facing dog. Inhale, forward into plank. Exhale, knees, chest, chin, come to the mat. Inhale into cobra. And exhale, press your way back into downward facing dog. 
Inhale, lift the right leg. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, the right arm up in a twist. Exhale, right hand down. Step the back foot forward and find the half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, press the feet into the mat, lift up. And exhale, the hands to the center of the chest. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, step your left foot back. Hands are planted. We step the right foot back in downward facing dog. Inhale forward into plank and exhale knees, chest, chin. Inhale into cobra and exhale press back over the knees into downward facing dog. Inhale float your left leg up, step it through. Plant your right hand, lift the left arm. Exhale, the left hand comes to the mat. We step forward into Ardha Uttanasana and exhale Uttanasana. Inhale, reach your arms up and exhale the hands in front of your chest. Inhale, draw the arms up overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, find length in the spine and exhale, plant your hands. Step the right foot back and then the left. Inhale forward into plank and exhale all the way to the mat. Inhale, find cobra coming up as high as you'd like and exhaling, pressing back over the knees, finding downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg. Exhale, step the right foot through. Inhale, find your twist, lifting the right arm. And exhale, step the left foot forward, find Ardha Uttanasana. Inhale, draw yourself all the way up to standing and exhale the hands in front of the chest. Inhale, draw the arms up and exhale forward fold. Inhale, find a half lift and exhale, step the left foot back and then the right. Inhale, forward into plank and exhale, slowly lower. Inhale into cobra, coming up as high as you'd like and exhaling, folding back down moving into downward facing dog. Inhale the left leg up, exhale step the left foot through. Find the twist, lift the left arm, and then bring the left hand to the mat, step the back foot forward and find Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale forward fold. Inhale, draw the arms up overhead and exhale the hands to the center of the chest. Inhale, draw the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant the hands in the mat and come back into downward facing dog. On your next inhale, float the left leg up and step the left foot through. We're gonna find warrior two on our left side. So inhale, draw the arms up and sit deep in the hips. Take a breath here. And then exhale, bring the left elbow to the left thigh in side angle. Reach the right arm up and over the head. Inhale, find warrior two. Exhale into peaceful warrior. Right hand to the thigh, left hand up over the head. Inhale, come back up and exhale into side angle. This time, you might bring your left fingertips to the mat. And then exhale, bring your right hand down. Lift your right heel off the mat into a lunge. Bring your right knee to the mat and the left hand to the outside of the left foot. You might stay here. You might bring both hands to the ankle. You might even straighten your back leg. Either way, make sure you're lengthening the spine and that all of the weight is in the legs rather than the hands. And then bring your hands to the mat, step the left foot back and go through a vinyasa. Inhaling forward into plank, exhaling slowly lower, and inhale into upward facing dog or cobra. Inhale, draw your right foot up and exhale, step the right foot through. Find warrior two on your right side. One breath here. And then we'll lower the right elbow to the right thigh, left arm reaches up and over the head in side angle. Inhale, come into warrior two. We'll tilt back into peaceful warrior. Left hand to the left leg, right arm reaches up and over the head. Stay low. 
Inhale back into warrior two and right into side angle, right fingertips to the mat or right elbow to the thigh. Reach the left arm up and over the head and then bring the left hand to the mat. Lift the left heel, finding a lunge. We'll bring the right hand to the outside of the right foot, left knee to the mat. Maybe you stay here. Maybe you bring the hands to the ankle and lift the left knee. Lengthen the spine, pull the legs together, and then bring your hands to the mat. Step your right foot back and move through a vinyasa. Exhale, slowly lower. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, back into downward facing dog. On your next inhale, glance forward and step the feet forward into a forward fold. Inhale yourself all the way up to standing, reverse swan dive. And exhale, bring the hands together in front of the chest. We're going to take a big step towards the right with the right foot, so we're still on the mat. Bring your heels in and your toes to point out and sit low in the hips. On your next inhale, straighten the legs, lift the arms, and exhale, bring the hands together in front of the chest. Sit the hips low. Inhale, straighten the legs. Exhale, sit low, exhaling through the mouth. <sighs> inhale, straighten the legs. And exhale, exhale through the mouth, maybe sticking out the tongue. <sighs> And then we'll stay here, letting some fire build up in the thighs. Reach out your arms to both sides. And exhale, right hand to the right thigh, shin or ankle, lifting the left arm up towards the ceiling. Inhale to the middle. Exhale, left hand to the ankle, right arm reaches up. Inhale to the middle. Exhale, right hand to the right shin. Middle. Exhale, left hand to the left shin. Inhale, middle. Exhale, right hand to the left ankle or shin, reaching the left arm up. Back through middle and over to the other side. Inhale, come back up. Bring the hands together in front of the chest. Enjoying this really intense sensation in the thighs and making the lotus mudra with the hands. Bring it up to your third eye and then straighten the legs. Inhale, lift the arms up and exhale the hands to the center of the chest. Bring your feet parallel. We're gonna come into a forward fold. Hands come behind the back, interlace the fingers, open the chest, and exhale, fold forward, letting the hands fall over the head. Release your hands to the mat. The hands come right underneath the shoulders. We're gonna bend the right knee and wander with the hands over to the right, feeling a nice stretch on the inner left thigh. Come over to the left, bending the left knee, straighten, straightening the right leg. Come back to the middle. Walk your hands in a line with the feet, releasing the head towards the mat. You can have the knees bent. And then bend your knees, bring your hands to the hips, and come up to standing with a straight spine. We're going to rotate the right foot over to the right, coming into Trikonasana on the right side. Right hand comes to the right leg or ground or block. Left arm reaches up towards the ceiling. One more breath. And then exhale, glance down at the ground. Bring the weight into your front foot. We're coming into half moon pose, Ardha Chandrasana on the right side. You might keep your hips parallel. You might open up the hips, pointing the left toes towards the side of the room. And you might even lift your left arm towards the ceiling. Glance down at the ground. We'll step the left foot back and down really slowly and rotate the feet into Trikonasana on the left side. Left toes point back, reach the arms in both directions. And exhale, we'll tip forward, bringing the left hand to the left leg, right arm up towards the ceiling.
Moving into Ardha Chandrasana or Half Moon Pose, we'll glance towards the floor, bring the right hand to the right hip, left hand on the ground, right in front of the left toes. Open up the hips, right toes point towards the side of the room. Maybe you reach your left, your right arm up towards the ceiling. Maybe you even look up towards the thumb. You might have some wiggles here. You might have some wobbles. Don't worry about it. Just kind of flow with that movement. And then look down towards the mat. Bring the right foot down slowly to the mat. And then heel toe your feet in towards the middle. And do some circles with the hips. Maybe shake out the hips a bit. Maybe shake out the legs. And then we'll come to standing at the front of the mat. Inhale, draw your arms up over the head and exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana and exhale, step the feet back, moving through a vinyasa. Exhaling slowly lower and inhale into upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale back into downward facing dog. Inhale, find your way back into plank. This time we're gonna stay for a couple breaths. So really activate the thighs and reach your pubic bone towards the nose, activating your lower abdominals. Press the hands into the mat, lift between the shoulder blades and relax the face. Exhale, lower yourself all the way to the mat. We're gonna find Sphinx pose. So bring the elbows right underneath the shoulders, forearms are parallel. Reach the chest forward. Imagine that you want to slide your hands back towards the feet. Your pubic bone presses into the mat. Your, the tops of your feet press into the mat. And then feel free to stay here. Or if you'd like to intensify the back bend a bit, you can bring the hands a bit forward, a couple centimeters or inches, and then straighten the arms. Press the pubic bone into the mat, really activate your stomach, reaching the belly button towards the spine. And then stack the hands. We're gonna slowly lower the forehead to the hands, maybe wiggling the hips a bit, just to release in the lower back. Then bring your chin to the mat. We're gonna come into locust pose, so bring the arms to the sides, palms facing down. Inhale, lift the thighs, lift the legs and the chest. Reach the fingers back towards the feet. And imagine you want to rotate the inner thighs up towards the ceiling. And then exhale, slowly lower all the way to the mat. Bring one side of your face to the mat and just enjoy this moment of relaxation. Then bring your chin to the mat. This time we're gonna come into bow pose. So you can bring your hands to the outside or the inside of the feet. I'm gonna do it to the, bring them to the inside of the feet just for an extra shoulder stretch. Inhale, lift everything up. Try to release in your jaw. Really kick back and up, allowing the stretch to go into the shoulders. And then release the feet and come all the way to the mat, looking in the other direction. And again, just enjoying, enjoying this moment of relaxation. And bring your chin to the mat, hands underneath the shoulders, press back, finding child's pose. Breathe deeply into the back, just finding whatever release you can. Roll yourself on up to sitting on your heels. Bring the hands on top of the thighs, palms facing up. Just take a couple of breaths. And then scoot your hips over to one side, straighten your legs out in front of you, and maybe give the legs a little wiggle. We'll bring the right foot to the mat and cross the right foot over the left leg. You might leave your left leg straightened. You might bend the left knee. And then Bring the right hand behind the back. Inhale, reach the left arm up, twisting over to your right. Cross the left elbow over the right knee and look over your right shoulder. 
On an exhale, twist from your belly button towards the right. Inhale, come back to center. And we'll twist towards the left. And then come back to center, straighten out the legs. Give them a little shake. Bring your left foot in, cross the left foot over the right leg. Maybe stay here or maybe bend your right knee. Left fingertips come to the mat. We reach the right arm up. Exhale, twist over towards the left, bringing the right elbow to the outside of the left knee. On an inhale, lengthen your spine. On the exhale, twist from the belly button over towards the left. Inhale, come back to the middle. Now we're gonna stack the knees, stacking the left knee over the right. The sides, the edges of the feet are on the ground. You might stay seated upright. You might start to fold forward, bringing the hands to the mat and go Mukhasana. You might even stack the fists and rest your forehead on top of your fists. Just kind of find your edge and work from there. If it's ever too much, then come a bit out of the pose, maybe straighten out the legs. And then inhale, lift yourself back up to a seated position. Straighten out your legs, give them a nice shake, and we'll move into the other side, this time stacking the right knee over the left knee in Gomukhasana. Inhale, lift the chest. And exhale, slowly fold forward, if that's there for you today. So this is Gomukhasana, it's also known as cow face pose. Nice stretch for the hips. Take a couple deep breaths. And then slowly start to lift yourself up, lean back, straighten out the legs, give them a nice shake. And then we're gonna come into fish pose. So bring the palms underneath the sit bones and then start to lean back until your elbows reach the mat. Then we're gonna let the head drop back if that's okay for your neck. And then in order to get the crown of your head to the mat, you're gonna have to push your chest backwards. We don't want a lot of weight in the head, just about 20%, most of it's in your elbows. Lift the chest up, and then to slowly come out, lift your chin, and bring your head all the way to the ground. Release your hands, hug the knees in. Maybe you circle the knees a bit, Then come into happy baby, bringing the hands to the outside edges of the feet or the insides of the feet. Try to keep the back flat on the ground. Then hug the knees back in. We'll roll from the back to the front until we come up to sitting. Stretch out the legs, wiggle out the wet legs again. Then come into Pajimottanasana, forward fold. Hinging forward from the hips, reaching the crown of the head forward, and the stomach towards the thighs. It's totally fine if your knees have a bend. And then slowly roll up to sitting. Bend your knees, bring the feet in together for Baddha Konasana. So we'll inhale, lift, and exhale, fold forward, using the hands to pull ourselves in a little bit deeper. And then release the feet, roll up to sitting, and scoot the feet a little bit forward so you have a wider angle here for Tarasana. We're just gonna come into a passive forward fold, rounding the spine and let the head 
sink towards the ground. We're not pulling or pushing here. The arms are really passive on the ground. And then inhale, slowly lift, straighten out the legs. We're gonna come back into the final pose, into Shavasana. So reach your hands out in front of you and slowly roll back to come to lying on your back. Start to find your Shavasana. It might take a little bit of movement. Straighten your legs out, let the feet fall to the sides, the arms are on the sides, palms facing up. Tuck your chin in a little bit so you can make sure your neck is really long. And then just start to get heavy. With each exhale, you're sinking deeper and deeper into the mat. And then slowly start to deepen breath. You might bring some movement back to the fingers and the toes, maybe circling the feet and hands. And then bend the knees, bring the feet to the mat. And roll over to the right side. Take a couple of breaths. And then slowly press yourself up to a seated position. And that's where we'll end today. So bring your hands together in front of the chest and thank yourself for taking the time out for yoga. Have a great day. Namaste.